Right, uh, you are acting GP, Rachel Williams, uh, mother of four-year-old David, has brought him into the hospital, to the clinic, because of bed wetting. Okay, so this is aneurysis, which is something not uncommon in a child who is four years old. But yeah, parents, you'll see they are, um, I mean, uh, they are getting concerned about all these kind of things. So let's have a look at aneurysis. So what is aneurysis? A uh, child is having, a uh, child is doing... Uh, Bedwetting. Bedwetting at night is aneurysis. We can have a child who is uh, of any age group. Uh, there is no age group where uh, uh, they'll stop doing bedwetting. It might be four years, five years, six years, five, seven, eight years as well. But some children you will see they will uh, uh, stop doing bedwetting maybe in early age, like two, three years uh, old as well. Right. So there are lots of uh, risk factors involved. The risk factor would be overactive bladder maybe too much of urine production excess urine production it might be physiological might be pathological as well a child is drinking before going to the bed so we have to be very careful on the daily routine of the child if they're drinking water before going to the bed that is going to lead in analysis right and sometimes you'll see bullying at home at school that's also reason of any recess family history if somebody in the family maybe elder uh, brother or sister they were also having this problem of bed wetting at night and it didn't go maybe for many years so that might be the reason even in the parents uh, if there was a history of any recess uh, bed wetting at night maybe for uh, uh, late age group like when the parents were five seven years old and they were also doing the bed wetting so that's very important and certain medical conditions are very very important case of aneurysis we're talking about constipation talking about diabetes talking about infection like uh, uti right so we have got some medical conditions like constipation we have got uti we have got diabetes these can be the reason of aneurysis it can be simple overproduction of the urine overactive bladder child is drinking uh, before going to the bed and there might be some bullying bullying at home maybe uh, not a good relationship between uh, the parents and they're fighting so that might be the reason child recently started going to the school or to the nursery and uh, finding something old stuff there and feeling like he or she has been bullied in the school so that's something very important in family history so all these are the risk factor that we have to look for in case of aneurysis right so what we have to do the, for the treatment treatment is pretty simple it is kind of uh, lifestyle changes we have to do uh, one is plenty of water during the day we always always encourage the parents encourage the child that we tell the child to drink plenty of water during the day encourage your child to go to the toilet regularly during the day so if they are going regularly during the day they will be able to remember in the night as well right so encourage your child to uh, go to the toilet during the day and if the child wakes up at night encourage them to go to the toilet that is very very important encourage the child to go to the toilet uh, when they wake up in the night and make a habit of asking a child to go to the toilet before going to bed so that's very important one is we're telling the child to drink plenty of water in the daytime not in the evening time because if they're drinking too much of water in the evening time it can lead to aneurysis right so what we have got we have got uh, the thing we tell them to drink plenty of water and uh, uh, frequent use of the toilets during the day we need to encourage the child for doing all these things right and we encourage the child to make a habit that uh, they definitely go to the toilet before going to the bed that is very important and if child wakes up in the night we have to encourage like uh, just go to the toilet and pass the urine so that will be very 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 important reward your child for having plenty of d drinks during the day and remembering to have a v before bed you know reward system is very very important but we have to be very careful for what we are giving the reward we have to give the reward to the child if they are drinking plenty of water during the day, if they are not drinking enough water in the evening time, if they are remembering to go to the toilet before uh, going to the bed, if they are waking up in the night and going to the toilet. These are the things we are putting in case of reward i mean if you have to give the reward we'll be giving the reward in these conditions don't put certain conditions like uh, uh, if you will not wet your bed in the night we will give you something uh, some reward no that is wrong it can actually put your child under stress he'll be very much stressed that if i'm uh, wetting the bed there is some problem and i will not be getting the reward but work on the treatment plan work on the cause 
uh, try to encourage your child for doing these things like uh, uh, drinking plenty of water in the daytime, remembering to pass urine before going to the bed and reward them if you are remembering these things reward them okay you did good job maybe have this reward maybe give something to them uh, maybe a chocolate a piece of uh, cake or something like that so that reward will be very 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 much helpful and that will be a treatment plan for a child initially we don't need to treat aggressively we don't need to go for a referral or other stuff and all right but further plan of actions may be like if these things are not helping or we have got some warning signs. What can be the warning signs in case of uh, aneurysis? If child is having uh, uh, daytime bedwetting as well, that is something very, very important. If the child is having daytime bedwetting as well, that's a warning sign. We need to uh, plan further actions. So we'll be discussing it. Uh, moreover, if child had uh, a uh, few months uh, without bedwetting at night but now again child started doing bedwetting meaning we have got a uh, few months which were dry dry nights but now child again started doing bedwetting that is also a warning sign we need to plan further actions for it what we have to do we have to refer the child to the aneurysis clinic or to the specialist pediatrician uh, urine test because it might be uti as well alarm clock for encouraging the child to visit the loo for example what happened in an alarm clock uh, in the night when child will pass a bit of urine that alarm will go on and alarm will buzz child will wake up and uh, hopefully will be able to pass urine after that right so that is something very very important right and also also like uh, gp might suggest uh, regarding certain medications as well but that won't be in in the beginning itself gp might suggest uh, the medication that is desmopressin but we don't have to mention or we don't have to give it to the child in the beginning itself so in the beginning it's only and only certain changes in the lifestyle plenty of water during the day not too much of water during the night remember to pass urine before going to the bed and use the toilets uh, regularly during the daytime and you can reward the child if he's following all those things right and if they have got any warning sign like child is uh, having this problem daytime bedwetting or we have got like few days or months which were dry and then again child started doing the bedwetting we need to plan further actions like uh, referral to the aneurysis clinic or specialist uh, urine test might be done we can have alarm clock as well that is also encouraging for the child to visit the loo and if needed maybe gp can prescribe certain medications like desmopressin right that's it in aneurysis thank you